Shallow processing and deep processing are two different ways our brains handle information. Shallow processing focuses on the surface level of information. It involves recognizing the basic features of an item without engaging in its meaning or deeper context. For example, when we look at a word and just consider its appearance or sound, we are using shallow processing. Deep processing, on the other hand, involves a more meaningful analysis of information. It requires us to engage with the content on a deeper level, such as by thinking about its significance or how it relates to other information we know. This type of processing helps us understand and remember the information better. Let's look at three key features of shallow processing. The first is its surface level focus. Shallow processing deals with basic features like the shape, color, or sound of information. For instance, you might notice that a word is in all capital letters or that it rhymes with another word. This type of focus does not require any understanding of the meaning behind the information. Another feature of shallow processing is that it is quick and effortless. This type of processing is usually done rapidly and doesn't require much mental effort. It's similar to skimming through a text without really understanding its content or listening to someone speak without really paying attention to the message. The third feature of shallow processing is poor retention. Because shallow processing doesn't involve understanding or relating to deeper meanings, the information processed this way is not well remembered. It's easy to forget because it hasn't been deeply encoded in our memory. Now let's look at three key features of deep processing. In contrast, deep processing involves a different set of features. First, it is meaning focused. Deep processing requires thinking about the meaning of the information. For example, when reading a word, you might think about its definition and how it can be used in a sentence. This focus on meaning helps to create a deeper understanding of the information. The second feature of deep processing is active engagement. This type of processing requires more mental effort and active involvement with the material. It's about making connections and thinking critically about the content rather than just passively absorbing it. The third feature of deep processing is better retention. Information processed deeply is more likely to be remembered because it is encoded in a meaningful way. By understanding and relating it to what we already know, we create stronger memory traces. To achieve deep processing, there are three practical tips you can follow. First, try to relate new information to things you already know. This could be through examples, analogies, or real-life applications, which help to anchor new information in your memory. Second, engage actively with the material by asking questions about it. Questions like, why is this important? Or, how does this relate to what I learned before? Prompt you to think more deeply and critically about the information. Third, use elaborative rehearsal. Instead of just repeating information, explain it in your own words and expand on it. For instance, if you're learning a new concept, teach it to someone else or write a summary that highlights the key points and their significance. By understanding the difference between shallow and deep processing and applying these tips, you can improve your learning and memory retention. Engage with material meaningfully, make connections, and think critically to process information deeply.